friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading the book, Most Marshmallows. And this book is by Rowboat Watkins. So he wrote the words and he drew the pictures. He's the author and the illustrator. And look at all the marshmallows on the cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one's reading a book and this one has on some goggles. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. Oh, look at that. It looks like they're trying to get on top of each other. And this is the spine. Oh, and our front flap has a night sky with some stars. Most marshmallows. This is the title page. Let's count the marshmallows. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Fifteen marshmallows. Most marshmallows don't grow on trees. Wow, those marshmallows look like acorns, don't they? Or come from storks. This was a stork delivering the baby marshmallows. Or even Mars. Do they even come from Mars on a spaceship? Most marshmallows are mostly born to one sweet parent or two. And they live in homes. Look at these homes of one kind or another. So they might live in an apartment building or they might live in a house. They might have some balloons out front. And they celebrate birthdays. Look at all those little marshmallows celebrating the birthday. They have a cake, they have presents. One, two, three, four, five presents. And they watch TV. One, two, three, four, five marshmallows are watching TV. Could that be Godzilla over there? And they go to school. Hmm, usually we go to school too, right? Even though right now we're at home, but usually we go to school. Let's see, wow, look at all these marshmallows with their backpacks ready to get on the school bus. And they learn how to be squishy. They're learning to how to be squishy in their school. There's their teacher learning, teaching them how to be squishy. And I see some jellyfish here. Maybe they're learning about jellyfish and slugs and frogs, which are also very squishy animals. And they learn how to stand in rows. Look how they're all standing in rows here. This is in, in gym class. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 marshmallows. And they have to learn why they can't breathe fire. Uh-oh, what if they breathed fire? They would roast, just like when you might roast a marshmallow, it might catch on fire and it might get a little brown. So they have to be very careful that they do not breathe fire because they have to learn that fire is only for dragons. Dragons can breathe fire, marshmallows cannot breathe fire. And most marshmallows eat dinner together. Uh-oh, this one looks like he threw a tantrum because you see some carrots on the floor. So maybe they were trying to eat some healthy things and this marshmallow said, nope, I'm not gonna do it. And most marshmallows fall asleep at some point, but this one doesn't look like he wants to fall asleep. He's gonna read a book instead. And they fall asleep and they dream about nothing. But some marshmallows somehow secretly know, what do they know? Let's turn the page to find out. <gasps> that all marshmallows, oh my goodness, there's a rocket ship and there's all these maybe flying saucers around here and there's some shooting stars. Look, one, two, three, three marshmallows on the rocket ship. They know they can do anything. Wow, this marshmallow is on a hot air balloon and this marshmallow is trekking a mountain. This marshmallow looks like he's on a parachute. They can do anything, even scale the highest mountains. And they know that they can be anything. Wow, this one is jumping through fire. 
This marshmallow is lifting up a thousand pounds. These marshmallows are balancing on one, like a backwards pyramid, making a triangle. This marshmallow is standing on stilts. These marshmallows are, are flying with a trapeze. This one is also standing on some stilts. These are also on a trapeze over here. And this marshmallow looks like he got shot out of a cannon and went through a ring of fire. Wow, they can do anything. And they dare to imagine. Wow, so normally you would think that the marshmallows have to stay away from the fire, but this marshmallow is a knight with, with armor on a horse and he or she is trying to battle with the fire-breathing dragon. So roar, blow some fire. And look, that is so exciting. The bat marshmallow jumped up and is blowing fire at the dragon. And what happened to the dragon? He ran away. And what happened with the people? They were so excited. Even the king and queen, their crowns are jumping up and all the people are streaming out of the castle. They're so excited. So Roar, and that is the end of the book. Whoop, just hit myself with the book. And this is the book, Most Marshmallows. So even though most marshmallows are very normal and they do lots of normal things like live in a house and, you know, have birthdays and watch TV and go to school and learn to be very normal just learn to just be regular marshmallows and stand in rows and be squishy and not to do anything too crazy like blow fire. We know that some marshmallows know that they can do anything. They can even do things that most marshmallows believe that they can't. Just like you guys might think that you have to be normal and fit in with all the little types, but Maybe you're dreaming of something bigger, something that nobody thinks you can do, but maybe you can. Okay, friends, I'll see you next time.